And just like that, it's done. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax. Today is part two of the Omni Wall setup. So, last episode, I received an unboxed by OmniWall Weekend Warrior XL package. You see, I ordered the Weekend Warrior package XL because I wanted all the parts, or at least a majority of the parts to see how this works. I do not have space in my garage to have such a big wall assortment, uh, just like the XL Weekend Warrior, which I'll put a picture up right now. But I knew I have lots of little areas where I can have uh, some Omni wall organizing. So what I decided to do was take all the components and then section them out across my garage. So today we are going to be organizing this shelf and then installing this Omni wall setup behind this cabinet. You may ask why do I have so many cabinets in my garage? Well you see I'm trying to help you guys build your garage at all different price points. In the far back is a $6,000 cabinet set, then there's a $1,200 cabinet set, and then there's a $2,400 cabinet set. I'm using them in all different ways so I can get first-hand experience to help you figure out your garage. I am rebuilding my 2004 R32 right there. There's many videos out there of me rebuilding that, and it's still a current project. But this side of my garage is where I park my two daily drivers. And this side is actually where I keep all my home maintenance products. And all of that side is dedicated for me working on that car. So, I'm actually getting first-hand experience with everything I'm using here. That way, when I tell you guys if it's good or bad, you know I've actually used it. So, without further ado, let's figure out this backdrop here so we can get installing on that side. That is done. So let me show you what I've done here. So this, as I've explained to you, is to maintain the house. And these are the things my wife or my father-in-law are looking for when they're helping out, like hanging pictures when I'm at work or playing chalk in the driveway or water balloons with my kids. So that's why these are all out so they're accessible for my family to find them. Look how many shelves I still have left. And again, this is the Weekend Warrior XL package. It went for $679.99. And, and I still have all of these shelves left, all of these hooks, um, two more backboards, another two more backboards, and another two more backboards. So let's jump on to installing these two backboards and I'll give you some tricks and tips how to do that. So basically this is 23 tall and 72 wide. Backing is only 16 by 32. So what I'm going to do is 4 inches on the bottom, 3 inches on the top and 4 and 4 on the sides. Let's get to it and I'll show you how to do this easily. So if you've been following me for a while, I use this laser on everything. So what I'm going to do now is first measure 4 inches from the side. As you can see that laser is right there on 4 inches. And then 4 inches from the bottom and that's right there on in four inches. If you don't have a laser level, I recommend you highly get one. I'll leave a link below. So now that's where I'm gonna start. Oh, that's the edge of the cabinet. So I'm gonna mark there with the little uh, pencil line and then I'm gonna figure out where the mounts go along this line. First, I'm gonna start with the bottom mount. All right, so we're gonna start mounting uh, the bottom bracket first. I've marked my bottom left corner here. Now I've also marked the center of the wall here, which is right here with the pencil mark. Then I put my laser level, which is also still set at four inches, four inches from the base here, and it is dead center. Then I marked center of this bracket. Now I'm gonna install the bracket and you'll see how easy this is. So what I've done now is again marked 16 and an eighth of an inch up and I put my level there. The reason for the eighth of an inch, uh, this slots into this uh, bracket and sits on this one. So you want a little bit of play, it's fine there. 
So let's put the panels up there and see how it looks. All right, so that's how it's gonna look. Looking good. I am going to get the clips out and I'll do four on this panel and four on this panel. Let's get to it. Well guys, let's check it out. It is finished and installed. Looking good, got all the clips in there. So yeah, that's gonna do it for part two of the Omni Wall series. Be sure to like and subscribe because part three, I'm gonna install these babies up here. I'm just waiting for some parts and I'm gonna organize that. So until next time, I'll see you then.